This Ridley-O is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. My recommendation would be this, especially if you have not the time to discover for yourself. Ask an appropriate assistant to examine the matter and come up with recommendations of her own regarding your best course of action in relation to this privileged province. If it were me, in your position, I should, wi I should wish answers uh, to these questions. Uh, number one, uh, should I visit, as Congressman Paul and Governor Johnson have done, the free status nation as yet unborn in full? Perhaps during one or more of their events, the most impending of which is known as a porcupine festival at late June. If not, or should I dispatch a representative? And number two, should I move to New Hampshire uh, myself? What would be the tax consequences in taxes? Uh, what, uh, what relevant freedoms would I attain that I have never had before? My own, uh, my own most memorable is the, uh, the machine gun rentals. Though I must confess, having only uh, exercised that one twice. Uh, numero three O. What would be the political implications within New Hampshire of a, of a relocation here, uh, particularly if it were accompanied uh, by my own local or state activism? And number four. Could I be effective in this region without straying from my characteristically Akokian low-key approach? Five. Number five. Uh, can the above be affected, and are they worth affecting, without personal, well, without personal relocation? Be <coughs> bearing, <coughs> pardon, uh, bearing cautiously in mind uh, the delicate line between political investment from afar, perhaps any investment from afar, and uh, perceived carpet baggery. If so, which would be the organizations most worthy of succor? I am listing some options in the video description. Uh, lastly, number six. If this shire is in fact salvageable, as perhaps none of the other uh, principalities in the world are, what would be the, the impact upon the globe? Were it to achieve that uh, shining state on a hill position, can I get or not get better results worldwide by aiding in the attainment of, uh, of one great example place uh, than I got before by aiding in the attainment of many uh, slight improvement places? Sometimes the wish is father to the thought. But my own answer to these questions has generally been uh, a probably or a promising. And that is what moved me here. Your advisors, uh, perhaps you yourself, without even much thought, will see more clearly still. The minions of authoritarian winery, which exist even here, have been chittering either way about you. They say we are your minions and have undertaken demonstrations against us and you at, uh, at our vintages. It has raised your stature in our minds and you can see the video in the description below. To paraphrase the singer Mrs. Rate, perhaps if our organizations were to stand uh, too closely to one another or laugh or just a little too loudly uh, at one another's jests. A pathetical moaning would ensue, so decibelistic in its volume as to provide us 
that status of household nameage toward which we have so long bootstrapped ourselves. Oh, and what a wondrous problem that would be to have, to achieve without misdeed the status enjoyed, sometimes not very much, by the, uh, by the abolitionists of old, I suspected under every bed, imagined under every bloom of dandelion. But perhaps we are granting too much significance to the clucking minority of authoritarian actives. <clears throat> there, is a, there is a comely little secret. No one here gives a piss <laughs> in any damaging way. Uh, no one save those whose minds are already affixed with or against us. Gives much more than a bottle cap about for Soros this or brothers that. They want for themselves their own modest prosperity and their own liberty, if not always everyone else's. If we can give it to them, it is probable that they will give it to the world. Meanwhile, let us give our foes, or really give them, something to talk about. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.